Go eat, girls. Boy. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? No bloat. Six days. Six days, no bloat. He don't want nothing to do with us. He's gonna have to at least one more time. <laughs> well, the feeders, we're gonna try to move them in this little lot over by the driveway because there's grass in there and then there's hay. And they've been over here for, I don't know, a week or two. But we're hoofing it. We're using what God gave us, right, honey? Our two yeah. little footsies. A hundred years ago, they at least had a horse. <laughs> because the side by sides in the shop. That's why I need Rico. I could be riding him. <laughs> getting warranty work, and uh, it's been there six weeks seven. and seven weeks. Sorry, and both the four wheelers are broke down. So, yeah, we're getting plenty of exercise these days. You stay back, girl. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, finally. Second time was a charm. girl. Hi, sweetie. Hey. You hungry? She's getting so big. She's above my waist now. You ready to be? Joshua. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Joshua. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Here, which is one of the barn cats has decided she likes living at the house better so now she's found the cat house and she sleeps in it at night outside and then she's here with us every day now socks prefers the barn so he stays over there he comes up every now and then but I still feed him at the barn these girls are getting fed corn this morning so we can check on everybody miss prego there coming <clears throat> and then the calf you can't see him but he's down there by the hay ring and he's fine he's eating and everything and still no baby only in the belly girl you better be getting that baby out of there it's, it's gonna get cold it's almost Thanksgiving
so since all our wheels are down except for our vehicles thank god Ready? we're taking this back to the cows in the truck <laughs> they're all looking at us like what in the world because we're back here in the truck <laughs> Look at them, every one of them. They don't see the truck very often. The little girl, she's like, what is that? Hello girl, it's what just us, that's little doing? girl. They moved from their spot when we went through the first time. So we're gonna call them over into this little field for the day. If there's any grass left in here, they'll find it. Just put them in here and <clears throat> Rico's gonna be first. First, honey. Safety first. Stranger danger. Come on, babies. Come on. The only thing between the herd and the road, well, there's quite a bit of land here, but the only thing between them and the road is this piece of wire. I don't know if you can see it. This little piece of wire, which really is insignificant until it gets hooked up to that box. And then it becomes a power tool. And they know. There's the cat being chased by the cow. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, he's just... Yeah, he's running around. He did? Good. Oh my. They were chasing him. I was like, what's the cows after? And it's the cat. Oh, socks. He's coming to eat, I guess. So it's Sunday um, and cold. And Mama had her baby. Mama had her two babies. <laughs> we have twins. It's all right, Mama. Uh-oh. And they're hungry. This is drive throughs Mama. Last year, she didn't have hardly enough for him. There's no way she's going to have enough for twins. Yeah, you got two babies. And they're big big ones. Yeah, they're big ones. Pretty good size there, mama. Let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, it's a bull, I think. Pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> yep. One bull, one heifer. So Chris went back and made another bottle of colostrum just to make sure they both have enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> you haven't found your legs yet, have you, buddy? Yeah, there's your mama. Maybe see if she's still hungry a little bit. They're so sweet. She's a good mom. She's very aware of both of them. The only th problem is we're not, no... <laughs> She's gonna have enough milk to sustain them both because she didn't. We had to supplement 
her one bull calf last year. We had to supplement a bottle a day for her. Yes, you're sweet. Yes, Mama, that's yours. We'll get you dried up, little one. I can't get this to just spray. Keep this here in case somebody wants a drink. Okay. It's gonna get your belly button, your umbilical cord sprayed, little one. This is alcohol and iodine for all you new people. Um, calves are born with zero immunity. They do not get immunity from their mama like human babies do. They have zero. They get all their immunity from the colostrum. And this umbilical cord is a prime source, especially when calves are born out in the field, a prime source for bacteria to enter their little bodies and make them really bad sick. So we try to spray them all real good to prevent that. I don't want to get behind her. I know, <laughs> I know it's cold. And little heifer girl's still kind of wet. So we're gonna go, we're gonna, Chris's gonna go get a towel and we're gonna dry her off. He's dry, he's pretty dry. Let's get her dried off a little bit. Oh, he thinks you're mommy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, little one. Hi, little one. She's like, she don't know what Chris is doing to her baby. It is the heaviest frost this morning we've had all year. Very cold, so we want to get her dried off. So we're at the King buying protein tubs for the cattle because it's that time again. So we brought a trailer, but we're gonna have to put some in the back of the truck because there's a lot and they're heavy. set it on the back or we'll try to get it up there on the axles okay. after we get these other two down oh it's got a flip there it went hey, it landed. <laughs> I, I saw it I was like, uh, well. <laughs> yeah he can get him up there and just like slide him and you take him yeah right there and take him to the front all right that's good and then i'll strap him up here Tubs are strapped in. <laughs> and ready to go. Phone. <laughs> All 
All right, buddy. Um, just right over here is fine. And I'm gonna warn you, it's gonna be stinky. Okay, you can go ahead and start. Oh. Not gonna put your gloves on? That's too late. Got to stay tighter. Ooh. Wouldn't shove him over no more like that. <laughs> well, my hands got slick now. There we go. Oh, no one hurt yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just throw it down. It's probably going to burn a little. So it didn't show me anything. It's probably the tell me my data's exceeded my data. Good, good job, buddy. Actually, it didn't stink as bad. Good job, Mama. No. What'd you say? You had to go to the water to do what? When you get blasted with room in it in the face, you have to get it washed like off. Like you did. Just, oh, no! Like you did just a, just a minute ago. Where's he going? He can't go through I there, told honey. Go that way. He can't go that way. I'm not riding through there. Oh. But it can't pull from the middle. Mindy. And I can get in your truck. Yes. Stay. Stay. Yeah, you better sit on your bottom. He'll throw you out. Oh, what the hell was that I-75 gear down through there? <laughs> I said, oh, you were so down. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Let's go. This I know. second cab. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Hi baby. Hi. Hello. So, Mama didn't follow us. We got the babies. Up in the front, so I'm gonna try to just walk her up. What you want? What you want, bully? I know y'all want corn. We'll give you corn when we're done over here. Okay? Just be patient. Babies first. Women and children first. That's across the road. Here. Oh. We were doing fine. <clears throat> what do you want, mister? Are you still hungry? <laughs> Lordy. There ain't no way you're still hungry. Well, she drank the bottle. He didn't. He drank half of that one you oh, got. Yeah. <clears throat> he's trying to find he's trying to find his milk from your butt. Oh, that chocolate milk back there. <laughs> oh. He's on me, honey. I told you. Well get him off. He's right on the hole. <laughs> he can't get nowhere. You well, got this weird feeling. It's like I'm in prison. <laughs> you don't even know what it feels like to be in prison. Uh oh, she hurt him. And they're wet because it's been raining all day today. It's going to rain tomorrow. <clears throat> I hate it when it rains in the winter. <laughs> well, it's not officially winter yet, but ooh, it feels like it. And we got our bibs on. <laughs> we have went to bibs. You got full bellies and warm bellies. Here. Full bellies. 
all is well here. I'm on midnight. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Everybody's in. Except for who do you think didn't come in? Niles. Here we go. <laughs> Niles, you're so predictable. You're so predictable, little one. All right. I'm out. I'm out. It's safe. Go on in with your family. Go eat. <laughs> He is a hot mess. We're gonna go feed. Uh, we're gonna go feed the herd back there. They're hungry, and Chris and I are both sick, sinus infections, and, and bronchitis. So that's fun, but you gotta keep farming. Donkey family. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Hi Joshua. Hey, Ree. Hi, Jenny. I know we need to get you some pellets. We say that every day. They're at the barn and we ain't been going to the barn for a few days because we have we have no side by side, we have no four wheeler. Just a tractor. Tractors. So the problem is we're fed up here. Unrolled there. And we got calves on that side of the fence. And calves down here on the other side on the side of the fence the pond's in. <coughs> And they need to come up here and eat. So Chris has walked down there to hopefully steer everybody to the open gates. They all have open gates. All the gates are open back here. But hi, Reek. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Hi. The old pool days are over. But it serves another purpose. As long as it don't break. And then I want to uh, look at them. They're coming up on 40 days wean, so they're about ready to sell, but I don't think I want to get rid of them right now until in January. If anybody is interested in feeders, it's a good group, mostly steers, but there are some heifers in there. They're out of registered Red Angus sire. All shots are up to date. Been on hay and protein tubs, and you can tell they look good. They're fat. A couple of them I'm going to keep for beef for uh, April and May. I got people that want them. Might be the smallest one right there, but it's a pretty heifer. They're in here on this protein tub that I put in here. They really like it. I built this building out of uh, barn doors. Just took uh, railroad ties, put down on the edges, barn door on each side and a barn door in the back. 
So if you're interested in these, I'm on uh, Facebook, Browning's Red Angus, or you can just look up Chris Browning. That's gonna do it for another video. It's starting to get dark, time to go in the house, farm off the couch. But yeah, get me with me on those feeders if you're interested in them. I've got a lot of heifers too, registered and commercial if you're interested in those. And again, I'm in north central Kentucky. So as always, uh, we love you. Uh, this Thanksgiving is, is coming up this Thursday, so make sure you uh, spend time with your family because that's what it's all about, people. It's not about birds. It's not about how pretty the table looks. It's about sitting around with your family, enjoying each other. And don't forget to praise the Lord, because if it wasn't for Him, you wouldn't have any of it. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you can. And we will talk to you after Thanksgiving.